This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a carriage jam error message on your computer or on your printer's control panel. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Clear the paper jam from the back of the printer first. Remove paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn the printer off. On the back of the printer, unplug the power cord. Remove the rear access door. Check the printer for jammed paper. If you see the paper in the printer, remove the paper by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reinsert the rear access door into the printer. On the front of the printer, check to see if paper is jammed in the front. Be careful when removing paper from the front. It can damage the printer. Open the top cover of the printer. Gently remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all the pieces that may have torn off. You may want to use a flashlight to make sure you've removed all the small pieces of paper from inside the printer. Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining paper pieces. If all the pieces of paper are not removed from the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. When you have removed the paper, close the top cover. On the back of the printer, plug the power cord back into the printer. Then, on the front of the printer, press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try printing a self-test page. On the printer control panel, press the setup button. Using the arrow buttons, navigate to print report and then press the OK button. Using the arrow buttons again, navigate to self-test report and then press the OK button again. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. With the printer turned on, lift the top cover of the printer. The carriage might try to move into the access area on the right side of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Then look inside the raised door and check for obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Make sure the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it to the left and then to the right. This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. If any obstructions are found while moving the carriage, remove them from the printer. Close the top cover of the printer. Now, reconnect the power cord on the back of the printer. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn on the printer. Try to print a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press the setup button. Using the arrow buttons, navigate to print report and then press the OK button. Using the arrow buttons again, navigate to self-test report and then press the OK button. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. If the control panel faceplate is not installed correctly, the printer might indicate a false carriage stall error. Let's check to ensure that the faceplate is correctly installed. To do this, visually inspect the faceplate for areas that might not be pushed down all the way. Also, look for buttons that may be stuck under the faceplate. Press down firmly on all edges of the faceplate to make sure that it is firmly snapped into place. Once again, make sure that all buttons are accessible. Try to print a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press the setup button. Using the arrow buttons, navigate to print report and then press the OK button. Using the arrow buttons again, navigate to self-test report and then press the OK button. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. Start by disconnecting the power cord from the back of the printer. Then, disconnect the power cord from the power strip or surge protector that it's plugged into. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet, and then plug it back into the printer. Then, try to print a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press the Setup button. Using the arrow buttons, 
navigate to print report and press the OK button. Using the arrow buttons again, navigate to self-test report and then press the OK button. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. Start by making sure the printer is on. If it's off, press the power button to turn it on. Without turning the printer off, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Wait 20 seconds. On the printer control panel, press and hold the pound key and the number 3 key while reconnecting the power cord. When part.nvm reset appears on the control panel display, release the pound and number 3 keys. The menu screen will ask you to confirm that used cartridges are installed by pressing the OK button. Wait until the printer has finished calibrating and the printer has stopped making sounds. Try to print a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press the setup button. Using the arrow buttons, navigate to print report and then press the OK button. Using the arrow buttons again, navigate to self-test report and then press the OK button. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. There are times where improperly installing the cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we'll fix this. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Open the top cover to expose the cartridges. The carriage might try to move into the access area on the right side of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. Gently press the cartridges down one at a time. The cartridge releases so you can remove it. Be careful not to touch the copper-colored electrical contacts or ink nozzles. Touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Reinstall the cartridges by gently but firmly pushing them into their slots. Close the top cover of the printer. Try to print a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press the setup button. Using the arrow buttons, navigate to print report and then press the OK button. Using the arrow buttons again, navigate to self-test report and then press the OK button. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you've tried everything described in this video and still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.